It is often said, when we dream alone, it's only a dream. But when we dream together, it's the beginning of a new reality. Here we are, the management, principal, faculty, parents, guardians and students dreaming together, attempting to make every dream a reality, be it aspirations, goals, endeavours, targets, victories or benchmarks. We are aware that the pandemic has impacted every aspect of our life and brought about innumerable changes, be it work, worship or education. From physically walking into this grand auditorium of the college, we are meeting today online on a virtual platform with the help of a link, a login or a password. From seeing things on stage with our naked eye, we have moved under the protective screens of our phones, tabs or laptops and so has the field of education changed overnight. From choosing your bench in the classroom, meeting the teacher in person, carrying books and lunch to college, we have moved to earphones, Wi-Fi's and connectivity. That's the new normal and we welcome you to this new normalcy. Despite these changes, we at Jyotinavas Pre-University College strive to make all aspects of college life meaningful, smooth and fruitful for each of our students. Good morning and a warm welcome to each one of you to this virtual orientation program. A special word of welcome to the chief guest for today's program, Dr. C. N. Manjunath, Director, Sri Jayadeva Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences and Research. On behalf of the principal and staff, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome Dr. Sister Lalita Thomas, Principal, Jyotinavas College Autonomous, Director, Postgraduate Centre, Jyotinavas College Autonomous, and Vice Provincial of the Bangalore Province. Sister Rosely, Administrator, Jyotinavas College Autonomous, and Superior, Jyotinavas College Community. Sister Swapna, Chief Warden, Jyotinavas College Hostel and Administrator, Jyotinavas College Library. All the sisters of the community of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes, staff, parents and students to this virtual orientation program. Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most powerful weapon one can have to change the world. Light is knowledge liberation, empowerment, and hope. The lighting of the lamp is a solemn part of any festivity at Jyotinavas College. It is not just a ceremony, but a tradition, a tradition of igniting the Jyoti of knowledge, hope, and love. May I now request our principal, Dr. Sister Louisa Sebastian, to lead our dignitaries, Dr. Sister Lalita Thomas, Sister Rosely, Sister Swapna, Sister Sajita Jos, Administrator, Jyotinavas Pre-University College, Sister Natalia, Head Department of French, and a senior faculty member, Mrs. Preeti K, Head Department of Economics, to light the lamp as a staff choir lead us in an invocation song. Stay. 
sheep, one step enough for me. Feet kindly light, a myth in circling glue, Thank you, dignitaries. Thank you, staff choir. May the lamp we lit be a symbol of peace, love, and hope to all. John 15, 7 says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. We will now listen to the scripture readings followed by a prayer. Bhagavad Gita Vachana Nalkane Adhyaya Shloka Muvat Nalko Thadvidhi Pranipatena Pari Prashnena Sevaya Upadekshan Tithe Gnanam Gnani Nasthatva Dashinaha Anuada Guruvina Baligu Hogi Satteva Nutil the Kolalu Pratnisu Namranagi Avarege Prashne Madu Matu Avarege Seve Madu Atma Sakshat Kara Pada Vectigalu Satevano Kandidare Adu Darinda Avaru Ninage Gnano Padesha Mada Balaru Uzu Bella him in a shaitan erwaji. Bismillah her wahman erwahi. The reading is taken from Surah Hajj number fifty four. Well, Yalam al Lazina Utul Ilma and Nahul Hakum erwabika. For you mean a behe for to habit Allahu Hulubuham. In the law, had a lazina. Amanu ila sirotum mustahi. Translation And so those who were given knowledge may know that it is the truth from your Lord, and therefore believe in it, and their hearts humbly submit to it. A reading from the Holy Bible according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. You are like salt for the whole human race, but if salt loses its saltiness, there is no way to make it salty again. It has become worthless. So, it is thrown out and people trample on it. You are like the light for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, he puts it on a lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine 
before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your father in heaven this is the word of the lord thanks be to god let us bow our heads in prayer loving god we come to you in gratitude on this auspicious morning as we welcome our first pu students and their parents into our jnc family and ask that you bless them and guide them as they begin their journey with us in this portal of alma mater we thank you for the abundant blessings you have showered upon them in making the right decisions to be part of this institution oh god we thank you for your amazing power that work in our lives thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us these days of pandemic thank you that you are able to bring hope through the toughest of times strengthening us for your purposes we are restored and renewed in joyous awakening to the wonder that god leads and guides us each and every moment of our lives i pray for our first pc students for strength that god gives them the strength to do what they need to do each day for courage that they will be brave as they face the challenges that are before them for direction that they will be led to embrace what is good and right for provision asking god to provide for all that they need for stamina spirit and finances for each day for protection that god keeps them safe in this increasingly unsafe world and protects them from the deadly pandemic and harm for compassion that they will show compassion on those in need and those who have less than they do for justice give them a sense of justice to stand up for what is right and defend the weak and for wisdom that they will grow in knowledge and understanding almighty father at this moment we immensely remain grateful to you for our management very especially our dear principal dr sister luisa sebastian and our administrator sister sajita jos our sisters faculty members administrative and non teaching staff who have worked selflessly and tirelessly these days for admissions we pray for the entire world very especially as fear grips our country let us choose love during this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around each other let us find ways to be loving embrace to god and our neighbor we make this prayer in your holy name amen thank you mr manjunath faculty member department of computer science aisha siddika of second seba a ms rini william faculty member department of economics and sister natalia de souza head department of french for that meaningful prayer dancers don't just dance they perform they step forth and the world disappears they tear down walls they spread joy happiness and wonder a dancer combines technique along with passion and one such passionate dancer is our very own mrs preeti k head department of economics and coordinator of the cultural committee we will now witness a silent poetry of technique and passion an invocation dance by mrs preeti k <laughs>
Preeti ma'am for that very graceful invocation dance, a magical blend of technique and passion. John Quincy Adams rightly said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader. And one such leader who is at the helm of affairs, leading, inspiring, guiding and directing each one of us, staff, 
and students is our principal, Dr. Sister Louisa Sebastian. May I request Sister to give us her message. Esteemed Chief Guest for the day, Dr. C. N. Manjunath, Director, Sri Jaydeva Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences and Research, Sister Benedicta Mary Joseph, President, Society of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Tarps, Bangalore Province, Members of the Council, Dr. Sister Lalita, Principal, Jyotanivas College Autonomous, Vice President, Bangalore Province, Sister Rosalind Norona, the Education Secretary of our Society and the Manager of Jyotanivas College. Sister Rosalie, Administrator, Jyotanivas College Community. Administrator, Jyotanivas College Autonomous and Manager, Jyotanivas College Hostel. Sister Philomena Fernandez, Jyotanivas Community. Sister Swapna, the Chief Warden of Jyotanivas Hostel and Administrator. Jyotanivas College Library, Sister Natalia, Head, Department of French, JNPUC, Sister Sajita, Administrator, Jyotanivas Pre-University College, Sister Selva, Faculty, Department of Mathematics, Jyotanivas College Autonomous, Beloved Staff, Proud Distinction Holders, Dear Parents, and the budding batch of freshers, present virtually for this orientation program. Good morning. We, the members of the management, the entire staff community, both teaching and non-teaching, are happy that 880 of you, dear students, have made the decision to join our institution. Hearty welcome to Jyotanivas Pre-University College. As you stand on the threshold of a new venture, a new chapter in your lives, I'd like to extend my best wishes to each and every one of you for a very bright and prosperous future. Under the guidance of our dedicated and experienced staff, I'm sure that each one of you will be able to realize all the dreams and hopes that you have nurtured in your hearts while seeking admission in Jyotanivas. As I stand here addressing all of you, I can sense the excitement and effervescence of the students on one hand, as also the anxiety and anticipation of the parents on the other hand. And rightly so, because through the decades, the importance and necessity for a good and sound education is becoming more and more clear across all the classes and sections of society. It is right and proper that you prioritize your goals from the beginning and put your best foot forward regardless of your backgrounds and previous school experiences. These two years have to pave the path of success for you. These are also the foundation for your future courses of higher education. I'm sure that you are aware of the importance of education for success in life. Education ought to prepare you to face the challenges of life by bringing out the best in you. Therefore, education should be relevant to the needs of the time and address the problems of the day. Guided by the ethos of communion, which reflects peace, excellence and service as the vision of Jyotanivas, we strive here to create an environment where education nurtures the uniqueness of individuals who become part of this abode of light, the temple of knowledge. 
to this effect the mission of the college is to turn out emotionally balanced spiritually oriented morally upright socially committed and intellectually enlightened youth to serve the society indeed jnpuc creates a nurturing ground for an individual's holistic development to make effective contribution to the society in a dynamic environment dear parents who are part of this virtual program we look forward to getting to know the exceptional young people you have raised as we help them by providing a rich array of opportunities to learn to grow to discover who they are and how they want to make a difference in the world we would like the parents to know that the entire jnpuc team is here to support sustain and encourage the students to commit themselves to study it is they who make us what we are and we look forward to the fresh ideas and energy they bring to our campus in this context i am happy to announce that despite the numerous challenges that the deadly virus corona imposed upon us our staff never failed in bringing the best out of our students of the 912 candidates who registered for the second year pre university course 188 of them obtained distinction astonishingly three of the students who are triplets by birth scored 600 out of 600 and 653 of them passed with a first class i extend my appreciation and hearty congratulations to the distinction holders we will be felicitating the top 12 scorers during this program today in times of change like the current scenario of covid-19 pandemic that stunned us with untrodden roads leaving us grappling with new situations we see that there is no other way than to adapt ourselves to meet the demands of the new normal conditions in education since there is no incentive so great and no medicine as powerful as hope for a better tomorrow we expect the parents to be alert and attentive in motivating and encouraging your wards to be prompt and regular to their classes here we are with you the new batch of students who begin your college life in a differently trending style a virtual orientation program online classes and interactions until we commence to continue your education physically on the campus do take advantage of the online classes provided for you till we all come together off for offline classes online mode of conducting the classes will equally help us make the connectivity needed to cover the syllabus and to maintain the flow of study this will not be confined to academics alone education is also about overall holistic growth the new national educational policy emphasizes this point we are eagerly waiting to see the display and development of all your individual talents and strength and watching you blossom during these two years of pre university education though this online mode of connectivity is a component of the world wide web you shall remember that you belong exclusively to jyotinivas the abode of light 
and you will be molded and motivated by the fervently dedicated services of Jyotinivas, which is founded and run by the sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes. The story of our society began in 1843 when just six young peasant girls in Kantaus, France, decided to follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ to serve the poor and the needy and started living together in communion, forming a little community. The society grew and the sisters served the people around in different ways whenever the needs called. It so happened that between 1854 and 1855, cholera was raging in several parts of France. And our sisters cared, nursed, saved many lives, and at times even buried the destitute dead with dignity. In this process, many of our sisters sacrificed their lives too. After a few years, in May 1882, five of our sisters arrived in India. Immediately after the arrival, they started with their services at Bowering Hospital, Bangalore. In 1898, when the plague broke out in Mysore, taking a heavy toll on lives, our sisters served those stricken by the disease selflessly, displaying undaunted courage and untiring zeal. This exemplary service inspired and drew many more youngsters to join the society to serve people and thus serve God. This includes me and my sisters here. We, as a society of women dedicated to serve people, inspired by Jesus Christ, have many missions. We have hospitals, orphanages, and centers for terminally ill people, and centers for HIV AIDS affected, leprosy rehabilitation centers, schools, colleges, and other customized organizations for the contemporary requirements of the suffering Lord. The small group comprising just six young women has grown to a huge society spread around the world. Our sisters are in France, Spain, Austria, England, Venezuela, Peru, Colombia, Mexico, Brazil, Kenya, Uganda, Congo, Malawi, and our motherland, India. By the grace of the Almighty, several communities and families have been transformed for the better through the services of our sisters. And this very institution, Jyotanivas, has given a new lease of life to thousands and thousands of young women. We have come a long way since the inception of the college in 1966. Needless to say, over the years, the institution has ardently catered to the needs of a society that needed to uplift women who are in general vulnerable and discriminated. Our students have succeeded in every sphere of life. Today, Jyotanivas is eminent institution in India, which has produced many women scientists, industrialists, politicians, doctors, social workers, even spiritual gurus, and many others in a myriad of professions who have made huge contributions to the society and lit up the lives of millions across the world. This is what we want from you too, dear students, to light up the lives of those in darkness. Appropriately, the motto of Jyotanivas is, let 
your light shine. May you allow that light within you to shine bright through you. Let us place our trust in God Almighty to be guided by His Spirit and blessed abundantly. May the Lord direct our steps as He delights in every detail of our lives. I wish you all success and the very best, dear students. May you come out with flying colors. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for your words of encouragement. An artist paints pictures on canvas, but musicians paint their pictures on the soul, the heart, and the mind. We now have the staff choir rendering a medley of songs.
Thank you, staff choir, for your thoughtful choice of songs, which echoes and promises the presence of a friend in the form of a teacher, mentor, and guide. Our chief guest for today is Dr. C. N. Manjunath, a senior cardiologist, professor of cardiology, and director, Shri Jaydeva Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences and Research, Bangalore. Dr. C. N. Manjunath is a recipient of a number of awards. Padmashri Award in the year 2007, Millennium Plaque of Honor by Honorable Prime Minister of India in 2016, Man of the Year by Bangalore Press Club 2016, Lifetime Achievement Award by Indian College of Cardiology 2016 and 2019, Distinguished Leadership Award in 2019, Shri M. Vishveshwaraya Senior Scientist Award in 2019, Dronacharya Award in 2018, Vishwa Manava Award in 2019. Under the leadership of Dr. C. N. Manjunath, the Jaydeva Institute has recorded an overall growth of 500% with an additional 330 to 1,250 beds exclusively for cardiac care. Sir has introduced and has adopted the practice of treatment first, payment next concept. He believes that every needy patient should be given quality treatment irrespective of financial affordability. He has taken affordable cardiac care across the state by opening branches in Mysore apart from Bangalore. He has mobilized more than 50 crores donations from various charitable organizations and built up a poor patient corpus fund. Under his leadership, the hospital has treated 50 lakh patients and conducted 5 lakh operation interventions in the last 10 years. Sir has innovated a new technique of performing balloon mitral valvuloplasty in difficult cases. This is being called Manjunath's technique. He conducted 200 angioplasties in just five days, free of cost, which is a world record. Moreover, the former American President Obama had, has applauded the Institute's work under the guidance of Dr. C. N. Manjunath. It is a proud privilege and honor to have such an eminent person as our chief guest this morning. We extend a very warm welcome to you, sir, and we will now listen to a recorded message from our chief guest. Dear students, it's my pleasure and also a privilege to address all of you on this particular occasion. In fact, today we are all going through this great uh, unfortunate uh, crisis, what is called COVID-19 pandemic. Because of this COVID-19 pandemic, it is not possible to come to your place and address all of you. So this pre-university is going to be a turning point in your career. It's also going to be a game changer. First of all, I am very thankful to Jyoti Nivas Pre-University College Management, the teachers, for this invitation to be amongst you. As I already said, this pre-university is going to be extremely important. Whatever subject you might be studying, most important, you should have faith, you should have trust, you should have hope. Just I will give a couple of examples. Faith, for example, I will uh, just uh, tell a small story. There was a village, uh, they were praying for rain god uh, because there was virtually famine, there was no rain at all and uh, they were offering puja and a lot of people have gathered. And uh, amidst this gathering there was one small kid, small child carrying an umbrella and uh, everybody was laughing at him, we are praying for rain god but this uh, kid is coming with umbrella, that means that kid has a great hope and a faith that rain is going to come. So that sort of faith you should people develop. Then you should have a trust. Trust is also equally important. You should trust yourself. Then only 
probably you can deliver better. Again a small story, uh, we always uh, grandparents try to toss the children in the air but still those small children will be smil still smiling because they know, they know that we are going to catch them, that is called trust. Hope, yes we all go to sleep, we all go to sleep with the hope that we will get up tomorrow and always if you believe in yourself, if you have faith, you should have trust, if you have hope, definitely you can succeed. And another important thing is self-confidence is extremely important. Self-confidence and self-belief are the pillars of success. So if you believe yourself, then a problem can become an opportunity and also you can achieve a lot better and there should not be any fear. The, and we always listen to success stories. Yes, success stories gives basically messages. We should also listen to failure stories, how people were not successful initially and they have come up in life because the success stories always gives messages and failure stories gives ideas. But again, believe me, there can be ups and downs in life there will be ups and downs in life that is the uh, law of the nature. For example, you might have seen the uh, sea beaches. The waves will come, raise and again fall but most important the wave that has fallen never fails to raise again. So most important is you have to believe in yourself and uh, again it is all, life is almost like a sun. A sun is a, a great example. Whenever sunset occurs, there will be a sunrise tomorrow. There are many, many examples where there are initial failures. They have become great achievers and they have become great uh, innovators and they have themselves become great motivators. So this is where. So we always, yes, uh, we should also know how to handle pressure, how to handle failures and how to handle stress. These things are extremely important because uh, what is stress? Stress is nothing but a difference. It is a gap between your expectation and performance. So if your expectations are more and performance is less, then that results in a stress. I strongly believe you should have dreams. Your dream should be bigger than fears. That is extremely important. Every one of us, uh, we go to the bed with a dream, then we get up uh, morning uh, with a particular uh, commitment, then you should work hard to reach the goals and that is the beauty of hard work. So there is, uh, most important is uh, you should know how to handle stress, how to handle uh, the failures. What is failure? In my opinion, failure is first attempt in learning. That means you have made attempts. Of course, you are all brilliant students and you are all uh, motivated students. You, are t you should be uh, thankful to your parents. You should be thankful to your teachers because uh, maybe about 50 years back, uh, our literacy rate was low and many, many students are walking kilometers and kilometers just to attend classes. Today you are all blessed. You are uh, getting a high quality education at uh, Jyoti Nivas Pre-University uh, College. So you should be uh, very fortunate enough. Use this opportunity, use this platform to come up in life. And again, it's not just enough if you score marks. What is equally important, you should uh, inculcate culture. You should also have discipline. See, there is a very popular saying, uh, education, education without discipline has no meaning. So both should go together. Education and your discipline should go together. Then you can definitely move forward. And you believe in yourself. Invest in yourself. That is extremely important. Invest in yourself. Then others will start looking at you and they will invest in yourself and promise yourself that you never give up. See, we have all gone through lot of hardships. So, uh, I may be a cardiologist today, uh, I'm, I have achieved lot of things, 
and we have done highest number of angioplasties uh, in, in this country and we have created a world record in balloon mitral valvoplasty. See, uh, one should not be, it has taken a long journey. It is a journey of hardships, it is a journey of challenges, it is a journey of uh, lot of uh, unexpected things happening. So most important, you should always believe in three or four C's. One C is compassion, second C is concentration, third C is commitment and fourth very important is consistency. Consistency is extremely important and perseveration. So, so of course we are all born with the same brain, it is the circumstances play an important role and the opportunity also plays an important role. For example, I will just give the example of a, a school uh, bell. When the school bell rings at 9 o'clock, you are little bit worried. The same school bell, when it rings at 4 o'clock, you are happy. So things keep changing. So yes, uh, you have all gone through your courses, of course, uh, uh, lot of online classes must have been uh, done to you because of uh, this COVID pandemic. But definitely, uh, still I believe, yes, this is a, an era of digitalization, this is an era of computerization. We need to move with this uh, gadgets. Uh, we have to update your knowledge uh, through your uh, digitalized uh, type of education. Excellent. We have to adopt this new technology. But still I feel uh, pen and paper is still relevant. There are some excellent studies coming from Japan as well as United States. The amount of learning, amount of grasping, amount of retention of what you read uh, or what you listen uh, is uh, best particularly when you write with pen and uh, I mean uh, using pen and paper. They have done a very scientific study. Hippocampus is an important component, important part of the brain where uh, you get intellectual uh, inputs. You should also uh, have the memory. This memory uh, part of the brain is hippocampus. So hippocampus is more active when you start writing with pen. So this is where, yes, we have to memorize whatever you read you please write yourself when you are sitting alone, uh, you start writing what you have read, whether you can able to reproduce. If you are not able to reproduce whatever you have read, you can always uh, start writing and that is retained in your brain or in your memory for a longer time. So we need to balance. See, uh, we are talking about a black color. Sentimentally, it is bad. It is the blackboard which has taken many, many people to the greater heights. So in that way, we have to uh, mix up both uh, balance between a newer technology as well as uh, the paper because still uh, we believe we have to start practicing what whatever you learn from the computers is good. Nowadays, you have entire world is in your hand in form of your mobile phones or even the tabs, whatever it is. So we are talking about G's actually. These G's were there earlier, 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G. Uh, now we are into fifth uh, G. So what is G? First G is God. Second G is basically a guide, third is guru and fourth is Google. So yes, we have to, nowadays whatever information you can get, you, you can download from the internet within a fraction of a second, but most important, you have to Google your own brain. You have to Google your own brain and uh, re you have to retain things, you reproduce and communication skill is extremely important. Today, because it's a competitive world, and uh, each one is uh, competing with the other, maybe for in your class or even when you uh, take up a uh, future course. Because uh, as I already said, this pre-university is a game changer, and the speed of learning alone is not important. The direction is important. So if you try to do, uh, learn too many things in a too short time, it puts a lot of pressure. And expectation is fine, but at the same time, you have to go face by face and what you call it as step by step. People, for example, 
whenever you climb stairs you always it might take some stress it might take some efforts but you will definitely reach the top if you are going by step by step and people have gone by escalator and uh, escalator sometimes may work sometimes may not work but steps will never never deceive you so believe in yourself there are important uh, life lessons actually i will just go through that most uh, sci- these uh, because what we study in school what we study in college is only 50% then after passing your pre university then obviously you will be getting into various courses of your choice even after completing that then you start your living starting your life because the modern trend is to focus more and more on lifestyle rather than the life in my opinion life is more important than the lifestyle so as we move on uh, life will also teach lot of lessons every day we have to learn lessons from your neighbors your friends and from the society and that's on 10 important one word life lessons are more selfish one letter word i avoid it most satisfying two letter word we agree it most poisoning three letter word ego kill it most used four letter word love value it most pleasing five letter word smile keep it fastest spreading six letter word gossip ignore it and important seven letter word success achieve it most avoidable eight letter word jealousy distance it most powerful nine letter word knowledge acquire it most essential 10 letter word confidence trust it so these are important uh, life lessons and there are some commandments uh, in my opinion there are some nine commandments for better career building and for a successful uh, life or living always dream big you should have commitment to achieve this goal see to get a dream you should have an excellent good sleep but to achieve this dreams you have to spend you have to have sleepless nights so you have to balance between these two there is no shortcut for learning hard work is the key inculcate optimism in life never go for social economic and academic comparison you should never compare uh, academically with others so you should take it in a positive way very important should not get depressed just because you got 5 marks less or 3 marks less that may it may not be your day actually so on your day you, you because most important you have to acquire a sufficient knowledge and also uh, the education is not just scoring marks you should also understand uh, education is also to understand the value of life and also how best we can contribute tolerate and appreciate growth of colleagues and others have social responsibility give something back to the society never forget parents teachers and motherland very very important because the mother actually introduces you to the world but father introduces the world to you and the teacher probably they actually make you wiser and they teach you and that i mean whatever they have taught probably is going to stay as long as you so these three people you should never ever forget positive attitude and self confidence are the key points for your future growth of your career you should have a faith in yourself faith is a small word but as supreme implication problem today is nobody has faith in their belief or dream they have more doubts in their uh, faith this is very very important and small deeds done are bigger than better deeds planned and see unless bird is a very good example unless you start flying you never realize what is your potential very important you should have a sort of an eagle approach eagle is a, one of the fascinating bird we we always take it as an example whenever there is a, a rain heavy rain all other birds will go and take a shelter on the tree but eagle what does it does it goes above the cloud and takes and starts flying so eagle is a great uh, example and worries and tensions are part of life probably students are most worried particularly when you are facing the examination fear should not be there see with courage you can that is the reason success is never final success is never final and again 
a failure is not fatal and it is the courage that takes you to a greater rights. So, these things are extremely important and positive mind can convert problems into opportunities without positive thinking trouble becomes double if not trouble goes away like a bubble. Every one should try to become example. We take always examples actually of great people, maybe in the field of education, maybe in the field of uh, sports, maybe in the field of science or in the field of uh, social service or in the field of technical courses. It is fine, you always take some good examples and uh, in my opinion, uh, who is your hero or who is your uh, heroine maybe for that matter. You stand in front of the mirror actually, then you will understand you are going to be hero for yourself. Most important, you believe in yourself. Success can be defined as S stands for see your goal, U stands for understand the obstacles, C create a positive mental picture and uh, another C stands for clear your mind of self-doubt, E embrace the challenge, S stay in back track and another S stands how the world you can do it. So, always you have to believe yourself that I can do it, then probably you will be more successful. And uh, yes, as students you are under tremendous stress, there are three types of intelligence actually. One is uh, intrinsic intelligence, that is where uh, the you have to build up an intrinsic intelligence with the brain, uh, with the repeated reading, with hard work and if possible uh, practice what you have read uh, with uh, pen and paper, then the emotional intelligence that is also important. See, it's, you have to maintain a very good mental health apart from physical health, then we will have artificial intelligence. Today, we are in an era of an artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning is everything is fine, but uh, we have to have in my opinion intrinsic and emotional intelligence are more superior than your artificial uh, intelligence. Yes, definitely you have a great future, believe in yourself and uh, all of us are born with the ability to work and deliver circumstances can play a big role and uh, you should always uh, take care of your food habits also because today young Indians in the age group of 20 to 35 are becoming vulnerable to lifestyle diseases. We are seeing lot of uh, lifestyle diseases at the younger age group from the student life itself you should inculcate very good food habits. So, you should uh, sleep for at least 6 to 7 hours and with a because sleep also improves your learning, your memory is better if you sleep properly then you should eat lot of fruits, vegetables and uh, rather than going for this uh, uh, artificial or energy drinks have more fruit juices, eat more vegetables, more fruits and physical activity uh, to some extent uh, if uh, I mean all 24 hours you can't uh, spend with uh, only studies some time you have to spare for some physical activity. So, definitely I wish all of you a great success and most important uh, try to become good citizens of this country. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words and your valuable tips for our students to have an eagle's approach if they have to succeed in life. You are an inspiration to many. I'm sure you have touched many a heart with your work, service, and message this morning. It was a pleasure listening to you, sir, and we wish you the very best. Success is not measured by the position that one has reached in life but also by the obstacles one has overcome. If you care about what you do and work hard at it, there isn't anything you can't do. And that is what our achievers truly believed in. They worked hard and looked at difficulties, if they had any, not as stumbling blocks, but a hurdle to cross. 
I now call upon Mrs. Sushma Janet, faculty member, Department of Biology, for the prize distribution ceremony. A very good morning to one and all. No road is too long for him who advances steadily, and no attainment is beyond his reach who equips himself with patience to achieve it. Our college is proud to have achievers who by their hard work have won accolades in academics and have brought laurels to our college. And today is the day to honor them with awards for their excellence. It is both an honor and a privilege to stand before you to felicitate the toppers from various streams for their outstanding performance in the second year pre-university examination conducted by the Department of Pre-University Education of Karnataka for the academic year 2020-21. I now request Dr. Sister Louisa Sebastian to kindly come up on the dais to do the honors. From the art stream, scoring a total of 577 out of 600, we have Ms. Neha Kamalapur. Ms. Shri Lakshmi Nelavara Makkitaya and Ms. Shambhavi Krishna Nedu. They are not here with us today. Moving on to Commerce Stream. I feel proud to announce the toppers of SEBA who have scored a total of 600, that is, sent percent in the board examination. They are None other than our dear triplets, Miss Alfonsa Tommy, Miss Maria Tommy. and Ms. Teresa Tommy. From HEBA, scoring 582 of, out of 600, we have Ms. Fatima Ume Asim. The topper from CBA is Miss V. Gayatri. She has obtained a total of 562 out of 600. Moving on to Science Stream, from PCMB, scoring 599 out of 600. We have Ms. Harshita V. Ms. Chaya J and Ms. Danya J are not here with us today. The topper from PCMC Scoring 588 out of 600 is Ms. Mariam Khan.
Thank you, sister. Once again, I congratulate all the award winners. You have worked very hard every step in the past two years, and it has indeed borne fruit. As you go out into the world, always remember to strive for your heart's desire and continue to let your light shine. We wish great success in your life. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sushma Janet, and congratulations to the toppers. Achievement is the outcome of honest endeavor and persistent effort. A few of our students and their parents would like to share their thoughts and experiences about online education, teaching, and its activities at Jyotinivas Pre-University College over the past year. I remember the day coming to Jyoti Nivas and talking to the principal, Sister Louisa Sebastian, Sister Sajita, regarding the admission of our three daughters. A wonderful campus, best infrastructure with helping staff made us to finalize Jyoti Nivas. Our daughters were very happy with the new environment and having new teachers and friends. First year was very smooth and the constructive feedback during parent-teachers meeting was very helpful. Then came the pandemic and online classes. Jyotinivas management and teachers were very quick to enable online classes. The triplets also adapted to the new normal. Timely communication and announcements regarding classes, assignments, etc. are worth mentioning. We parents of Alfonso, Maria and Teresa of class Seba, A, B and C take this opportunity to thank you all the teachers, class mentors, class reps who made last two years wonderful for our daughters and we are sure they will cherish this for long. Finally, big thanks to principal sister Louisa Sebastian Sister Sajita and Sister Natalia. We pray to Almighty God to guard, guide and protect them always. Thank you, Jyotinivas. Greetings to all of you out there at Jyotinivas College. As a parent, I fondly remember the day when we first stepped into the JNC College campus with our daughter, Trisha M. George. The lush greenery, spacious campus and overall ambience coupled with the warmth and guidance extended to us by the faculty 
and support staff manning the BU admission help desk was what enabled us to make an instantaneous decision. The first year at JNC was a memorable one for our daughter and was a pleasure for us as parents to see our little girl make new friends, get involved in co-curricular activities and bloom into a young lady. This indeed is a testament to the passion and dedication of the faculty and support staff at JNC who've gone the extra mile to impart learning in a free, safe and conducive environment. When the COVID pandemic surfaced, we like most other parents were worried about how this would impact our daughter's education. The speed at which JNC switched from the conventional offline mode to a virtual online mode was amazing. The role of Principal Sister Louisa Sebastian, Sister Sajita, the faculty and support staff at JNC in enabling this digital transition is sincerely much appreciated by one and all. We would sincerely like to thank the Principal Sister Louisa Sebastian, Sister Sajita, the HESP faculty members, class mentors, class reps and support staff for the tremendous effort and proactive support they've extended to every student over the years. God bless and thank you. I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to respected sister Louisa and all the teachers for their unparalleled effort, support and guidance provided to the children in this difficult environment. When online classes started, we were all so anxious as to how the children would adapt to it. But it was amazing to see the extended efforts the teachers put in to create an environment similar to classroom learning with PPTs, videos, interactive sessions, and even having jokes. It was an exemplary effort by the college, not only to create an environment for academic learning, but for the mental health and well-being of the children. As parents, we all want the best for our children. And we are so happy we took the right decision. Thank you, Jyoti Navas. Hello everyone, I am Nagavini Jagadish, the parent of second PSC science student Chaya J. We are very grateful to all the lecturers who made an excellent effort to enhance the knowledge of our children during these difficult times too. The online classes went on very well without any obstacles. We had never expected such a glorious teaching by our lecturers. We felt that there were no differences between online and offline classes as online classes were taught satisfactorily. Practical classes were very good. I guess JNPUC College would rank number one in the entire state for practical classes and also online classes. I am very happy to extend my gratitude to Sister Louisa Sebastian for providing such a wonderful platform to our children excel in academics. The college also provided opportunities for extracurricular activities ahead of academics during these difficult times of the pandemic to keep their spirit high and grooming them holistically. We hope to get an excellent result with the constant support and cooperation of all the lecturers and staffs. Thank you. My daughter was keen on joining an all-girls institution as when girls are put together, they do wonders. JNC was her first choice as it lives up to its motto, let your light shine and brings out the best in each child. I observe her blooming into this confident young lady I am proud of. Not only has JNC instilled in her the values of compassion and empathy, but also readied her to face this competitive world with elan and poise. Year 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us with COVID crippling our lives and bringing major lifestyle changes. Education has become online, with JNC has took on its stride with initial hiccups, but eventually a smooth transition. The students as well as the faculty members have molded themselves quite well to this new normal. Be it online classes, tests, exams, remedial classes, competitions, cultural activities, everything is taken care of. 
the faculty members are always available for any help the children need. I am grateful to JNC for all it does for our children and their bright future. Thank you. Hello, Namaskara. I am Hema Vati. Second PCMD Hashita Vee on the time of the time. मदर एक्ये दानो प्रिंसिपल रोल के दानियों वाले मेरे लिए किस्टा पढ़ती हैं। कॉलेज वाले हेल्प देखो उन्हें टीचिंग तुम बच ना हुआ तरह। टीचिंग में जिन्हें कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज़, कोर्स, ये लल्ला तुम बा मक्कल तुम बा इंक्रेज मारता है। सोशल सर्विस बहुत ये लल्ला दरवाज़े इंक्रेज मारता है। Hi, Teresa Tommy of 2nd Sebasi. I am profusely overjoyed to share my experience in Jyotineva Spree University College. It was a great privilege and honour to study in this prestigious institution. The wide variety of extracurricular activities has shaped our skills to showcase our best. One of the best things about JNPOC is the environment and infrastructure which is awesome. Studying here brought an added value to life. Teachers were very encouraging. They never left any stone unturned for the growth of the students. The faculty has been very encouraging and gave us a platform to enhance and showcase our talents. Though COVID-19 played a spoil spot in our second PUC classes, it did not hamper our spirit and determination. Students and teachers proactively adopted to e-learning. Teachers flipped learning overnight with no playbook to go off and they felt as much stress as everyone else. They deserve our appreciation more than before. The multifarious events conducted online were very exciting and were a great relief in the stressful days. Thank you teachers for your flexibility and creativity. I also take this moment to thank our principal, Sister Louisa Sebastian, the administrator, Sister Sajita Jose, Sister Natalia and the whole management for being a guiding light throughout the two years. Leaving this alluring abode of knowledge, I will always carry the treasure of values learnt in Jyotinevas. Thank you. A very good morning to one and all present here. My name is Diana Maran, I am from 2nd PCMBA and today I will be speaking a few words about our college and also the versatility with which our college handled the global COVID-19 pandemic. Before we begin, I'd like to heartily welcome our respective principal Louisa Sebastian, our beloved teachers and all my fellow Jyotinevites. My journey here at JNPUC has been an absolutely wonderful one. My first year with a JNPUC was filled with memories of events and also being a class representative of an absolutely amazing class with the best mentors that I could ever have got. Then came second PUC and along with my second year came the global pandemic, a pandemic which forced all of us to sit behind the shut doors of our homes. But despite this challenge, our college administrators and our teachers rose to the occasion, brought in their A-game and organized online classes for us. The first set of online classes started on the 4th of May 2020, which involved recorded sessions which were done by our teachers where they taught not more than two or three concepts in great depth. Then we switched to live class sessions. Live class sessions were held on two different platforms of Google Meet from the month of June till the end of August and MS Teams which started early in the month of September. Despite the vast distance between us, our teachers made sure that each and every single topic was taught meticulously, keeping in mind us as well as our ways of learning. In a nutshell, we as students can say that our admirable college administrators and our ICE teachers took up a humongous challenge and in the end turned out victorious. And we as students can't be more grateful for all of our teachers' efforts and our teachers who in turn should be absolutely be applauded for all of their wonderful efforts. Thus, I'd like to conclude by saying that in the end, despite all the precariousness of the global pandemic, our college got through with a full-fledged victory. A victory which is worthy of immense praise. Thank you. Good morning, respected principal, teachers and my fellow students. My name is Dianjali Satish and I am the class rep of 2nd HESP. I am here to talk about the two most amazing years at Jyoti Navaspri University College. GNC has always felt like home. The culture of college, the methods of learning and student-teacher interaction has always been incredible. The first year was a wonderful journey for adapting to a new environment, new people, new experiences and the beginning of independence. 
However, just as we were getting comfortable with college, COVID-19 struck the world. The global pandemic forced us to adopt a teaching learning method that has never been used before in the history of education. Slowly but surely, the college helped us to become familiar and comfortable with this new way of learning, creatively holding our attention through a virtual platform. Although we missed a lot of events, GNC ensured that we still enjoyed college festivities, keeping in mind COVID's safety protocol. We even managed to pull off a first-of-its-kind online election for student leaders, on campus in the first year and online in the second. But through it all, it has been a wonderful experience and all of us were able to let our light shine. Thank you, dear students and parents. Your feedback and thoughtful insights were truly heartwarming and it has motivated us immensely. And I'm sure our first PU students are assured that they are in safe hands. With freedom comes responsibility and with responsibility, the knowledge to differentiate between the right and the wrong. May I now call upon Mrs. Shanita Jos, Coordinator, Discipline and Timetable Committee, to brief our students about the rules and regulations of the college and the details of the timetable for the academic year. Jim Ron said, and I quote, Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. A warm welcome to all students into our JNC family. Your level of success is determined by your level of discipline and perseverance. And we wish all our dear students to be successful in every aspect of life. As per the guidelines laid out by our government, we will be learning in both online and offline mode. To a great extent, our college guidelines will be the same for both modes of learning, except for a few points which will be applicable only for offline mode. Hence, I need your undivided attention while listening to these guidelines. Students should be regular and punctual for all the classes. General discipline has to be maintained during class hours, assemblies and activities. Students must be present every day in their respective classrooms at 8.40 a.m. at the first bell. A late pass will be issued by the discipline committee to the latecomers. Without the late pass, students will not be allowed to enter the class. The late pass will only permit the students to attend the class, but the student will be marked absent on the roll for that day. Students must wear their ID card throughout the working hours on the campus. 80% attendance in each subject is mandatory for students to appear for the test and examinations. Students who absent themselves on medical grounds should produce the medical certificate as soon as they come back. A medical certificate, however, does not entitle the students to attendance. Class test, assignments and examinations conducted by college are compulsory for promotion. Leave of absence from the college should be obtained from the authority concerned. If the absence is more than two days, students must get the leave note signed by the principal. College follows a strict dress code. The students are permitted to wear salwar kameez and churidas with dupattas on all working days, including Saturdays and days of examinations. Sleeveless, short tops and any other revealing clothes are strictly prohibited. Attendance for value education classes is compulsory. Use of mobile is strictly forbidden and when confiscated, it will not be returned. Misbehavior of any nature in the classroom or on the campus will lead to suspension. Remedial classes are compulsory for all the students who score below 50% marks in the term examination. PTA meeting will be conducted thrice a year and all the parents have to be present for this meeting. Marks card of the students will be handed over to the parents personally during the PTA. Parents can meet the principal, counselor and concerned staff members throughout the academic year with prior appointment. 
these regulations are meant for the benefit of individual and collective student community. We request and expect your complete cooperation to make these two years very rewarding for all of you. Dear students, another important aspect to your learning experience at GNC is our timetable. We have planned a schedule to focus on your academic excellence and expose you to the best we can offer in these challenging times. We will commence our first PU academic calendar from 30th August 2021 using our online platform Microsoft Teams. Classes will be held on all days of the week except on Sundays and general holidays. Class timings will be from 8.45 a.m. to 12.55 p.m. We follow day-wise timetable and each day you will have four classes. The duration of each class is 55 minutes, followed by 10 minutes break after each class. Kindly refer to our college website for section-wise timetable of science, commerce and art streams. Dear parents and well-wishers, we look forward to your support and cooperation in this journey. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Shanita Jos. May I now request Ms. Jennifer, faculty member, Department of Commerce, to propose the vote of thanks. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deed. Psalms, chapter 9, verse 1. Good morning, one and all. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the oath of thanks on behalf of the management, principal, and staff of Jyotinivas Pre-University College on this memorable occasion. At the outset, I give glory to the Almighty for making this day a resounding success. Gratitude is the most beautiful way to express all that's in your heart in two words, thank you. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest for the day, Dr. C.V. Manjunath, for accepting our invitation and for taking his valuable time from his busy schedule to address this young Jyotinivites. Today, we had the opportunity to listen to your thoughts, sir, and this is definitely going to encourage us in our future endeavors. I offer my sincere gratitude to Sister Rosalind Narona, Manager, Jyotinivas Pre-University College, Dr. Sister Lalita Thomas, Principal, Jyotinivas College Autonomous, and Director of Post-Graduation Center, Jyotinivas College. Sister Rosalie, Superior, Jyotinivas College Community, and Administrator, Jyotinivas College Autonomous. Sister Swapna, Chief Warden, and Administrator of Jyotinivas College Library for all your immense love for us and for motivating, supporting in all the endeavors of Jyotinivas Pre-University College. A good leader takes people where they want to go and make their vision a reality. We are grateful to our beloved principal, Dr. Sister Louisa Sebastian, our pillar of strength who always gives wings to our dreams and aspirations and who motivates us to keep crossing many milestones to reach success. I would like to thank Sister Sajita Jose, our administrator, for a constant support and encouragement. I also express my thanks to Sister Natalia, Head Department of French, and all the Sisters of St. Joseph of Thabs for their constant prayer for our institution to reach greater heights. Happiness is having a great co-worker. I would like to place on record the hard work of our technical staff for, the, for their selfless service in conducting this event without any glitches. I must mention my deep sense of appreciation to the cultural committee led by Mrs. Preeti K for coordinating and organizing this event. I also thank all the teaching and non-teaching staff for their support for the smooth conduct of this program. A big thank you and congratulations to all the topper of the batch 
2020 and 2021 for making us proud and letting your light shine. I thank all the parents and students for their presence during this virtual orientation program this morning. Your interest always helps us in carrying out such important events. Last but not the least, I thank all those watching us live now. You bring joy and hope during this difficult time. Once again, thank you one and all. Have a blessed year ahead. Thank you, Ms. Jennifer. To all the first PU students, today is a new chapter in each of your lives, the beginning of everything you want. Dream big, aim high, and begin to write the story of your life. Dear students, please note, the first PU online classes will commence from Monday, the 30th of August at 8.45 a.m. on Microsoft Teams. We will follow day one timetable. For information regarding Microsoft Teams, kindly go through the video uploaded on the college website. You are requested to check the details of the class timetable on the college website and log in accordingly on Monday on time. As we come to the end of today's orientation program, the staff choir will render the college anthem. Thank you and have a nice day.